Today I'm going to show you how to install a GFCI and a regular duplex receptacle. The first step is to test the wires coming out of the wall to make sure that they're not live or on. So I'm going to use the multimeter. We turn it to on and it doesn't matter if you touch if you touch the red or the black to the neutral or the hot wire. And by touching that, you can see the number showing up. That means that the electricity is hot and that it's on. So for safety precautions, before we do any work, we need to make sure that we turn off the power, the circuit breaker, coming to this outlet. This is another type of electrical tester, and it just requires you getting close to the hot wire, and you hear it turn on. And that means that it's hot and it needs to be turned off. Now we've turned off the circuit breaker, but just to be sure, we want to check the um, wire coming out again, just to make sure that there is no power coming to it. And another safety precaution, you'll notice that I'm wearing safety glasses just in case. The next step is to pull the wires out so we can make our pigtails from one receptacle to the next. So we're going to take our utility knife and we're going to lightly cut the outside sheathing. And here we have our black, which is the hot wire, our white, which is the neutral, and our grounding wire, which is covered in like a brown paper. So this is a GFCI, a ground fault circuit interrupter, and it's typically used in wet locations, so in a bathroom, a kitchen, or outside. And the reason people use them is because it protects against ground fault, which um, has the potential to protect against someone getting shocked. If you'll notice on the back of the GFCI outlet, there are two screws, a copper colored and a white silver colored. The copper is the hot or where the black wire goes. The silver is where the white or the neutral goes. And down on the bottom is a green, which is where the ground wire goes and you can hook these up two ways you can either wrap the wire around the screw and tighten it down or you can put the wire straight into these holes and tighten it and those are two different ways to connect it and this is the line in so this line comes directly from the breaker and this up here where the tape is covering is the load and this connects to other outlets and this does the same thing you can connect it by going straight in or wrapping the wire around there. This is the receptacle, the other receptacle we'll be using and it's a typical receptacle and um, this you have to wrap the wire around the individual screws you don't have the option of going straight in but because this is going to be connected through the GFCI this will also be protected by the GFCI and additionally any outlets coming after in the same line circuit will be protected by the GFCI. The next step is to strip uh, the ends of the neutral and hot wires. We want to strip one end of the wires long enough so that we can wrap the wire around the screw and then the other end of the wire we want to strip long enough that it's in accordance with the strip gauge on the back of the GFCI. Since this is 12 gauge wire on the wire strippers, we're going to make sure that it's in the 12 slot. And that makes sure that you don't cut or nick the wire underneath. Then the next step is to create a hook on the end of the wire. And as you can see, this one comes up and goes around and you want the wire coming up to be just about right in the center of the top of the bend. So to do that, we're going to take the wire and we're going to kind of do about a 45 degree angle and then we're going to have it loop around once you have hooks done in all um, of the ends of each wire then we're going to go ahead and hook up the receptacle and if you have any interest in making each of the outlets on a separate circuit there's a little tab right in there that you're going to pull off on each side 
and that way it separates the circuit so you may want one of the switches to be associated with the light switch and that would help in that. So we're going to make sure we take the white neutral wire and hook it up to the white or silver screw. And you always want the direction of your hook to be going the same way as the direction of your screw. Then I'm going to hook up the grounding. Then I'll hook up the black to the copper wire, sorry, the copper screw. This GFCI actually has the capability that you can put the wire straight in and then tighten the screw on top of it. But not all GFCIs are like that. Some, and most, you have to create a hook to put around the screw to tighten it down. We actually cut a third grounding wire because we need to pigtail. So the source coming in goes to this one as well as this one. So we'll um, put the three together and put a wire nut on it to connect the three. The next step is to connect the three grounding wires. And we're going to use the wire connector and there's typically a little table on your box if it comes with multiple sizes and it'll tell you since we're using three 12 gauge wires you need to make sure the yellow will only hold two 12 gauge wires but the red will hold three so we, we're going to use the red one. So what you want is you want all of the wires to be pointing in the same direction as the source wire. So we're going to put a little U-bend on both of these so that they're all facing in the same direction. Now that these are bent, they're all in the same direction. We have them coming out in the same direction, so we'll take our wire nut. Put it on there and screw it down so it tightens the three together. Now the three are connected through the ground. The wire nut has been tightened. We tugged on each of the wires to make sure that they're secure and they're not going to come free. So now we want to um, kind of fold the ground wire back into the box so that we can connect the hot and the neutral. So to do that, you kind of want to do it kind of like an accordion. So we're going to bend those back into the box. You want those to stay out of the way. Now we're going to hook up the line source coming in and um, on this side on the back of the GFCI it actually says white so we're gonna put these ones straight into the box into those openings and then tighten it down with the screw And then we'll tug on it to make sure it's secure and it's not going to come out. Then we're going to hook up the hot black wire. So when we go to hook up the black, it doesn't matter which um, hole you go into. Once you go straight in, you can see that there's um, quite a bit of the copper wire sticking out, and that's why it's important to use the wire gauge on the back because we don't want that much sticking out, so we're going to have to take it out and trim off a bit. So now when it goes in, it goes all the way down. So now that that's in, we'll tighten up this screw. And 
can pull on that to make sure it's not coming out. Now that we have the source line connected coming in, it, now we need to hook up the um, line going out to our next outlet. So we must remove the tape and we do the same process with these wires. And again, that wire is too long, so we'll need to trim it. Important to make sure that they're tight because we don't want it to come out. And when you bend the wires, it also tends to pull it out a little bit. So it's important to make sure it's tight. And we need to trim this one as well. Now all of our outlets are connected and wired up. Now that I have everything connected and I've been messing around with things, it's important to go through and make sure all of our connections are secure. Oh, the black has come out, so now we need to make sure that that gets tightened up again. Everything is hooked up again. Now we need to fit the wires back into the box and it's important to not just force it in because then you could pull out some of the connections. So you want to do again with the accordion style by bending the wires so that you can fit it into the box and it will sit on there nice and easy. Now it's important to get all the screws started into the receptacle box. Now that I have the receptacle started, it's important to make sure that they're not crooked so that everything's straight and flush when you put on the cover. step is to fit the outlet cover on. So we're going to put it up there and make sure that the outlets are straight and they fit in there nicely. that's how you install a receptacle. Now we've turned the power back on and tested to make sure that the outlet um, is hot. So now we're going to test the GFCI. So you press the test button and since that popped out and the red light came on, we know that it works. So we will press reset and we are good to go. Go Cats!